Before we start discussing metric beat, let's take one step back and understand what are beats and what fundamental problem they are meant to solve. For a very long time, the community has known this stack called ELK, or the Elastic Stack. The Elastic Stack is a set of technologies formed by Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Elasticsearch is a data store that knows how to durably and scalably store data and make this data available for external analytics and searching purposes. Logstash is the technology from the stack that knows how to gather data from the sources, know how to process them as a pipeline, and knows how to ship the data to destinations. Kibana is the eyes of the stack. This is the place where users are going to play with the data and transform the data into insight. If we focus specifically on Logstash, this is a technology that, as I mentioned before, knows how to collect data from sources, knows how to process it, and knows how to ship the data to destinations. For example, Elasticsearch. Those are three simple steps, but if you have to do this for, let's say, 100 services, it can become quite tedious and not necessarily scalable. This is the reason why Elastic created the Beats family. Beats are lightweight, simple to install agents that encapsulate these three steps, namely, read the data from the source, process the data, and ship them to destinations. Now that you understand what are beats, let's discuss metric beat. A metric beat is a type of beat that is responsible for collecting metrics from sources, which can be systems and services. It knows how to process those metrics and put them into a specific format that is going to be later on transmitted and ship it into destinations. For example, Elasticsearch. A metric beat is broken down into two components, modules and metric sets. A module is a, it is a place where users are going to specify the configuration details about how to collect the metrics from the source systems, details such as connection, authentication, etc. Also, it is the module where users are going to specify how frequently the metrics are going to be collected. The actual metrics to be collected are called metric sets. To better understand a, what is a metric set, let's say that we are using the system module. The system module is a module from the metric beat responsible for collecting metrics from operating systems. So an example of metric is disk IO utilization or the average usage of CPU. Those are examples of metric sets. So a metric set is essentially a set of metrics to be collected and a metric set necessarily belongs to a given module. Every information that you configure in the module re regarding the how to connect with the search system and how frequent the metrics needs to be collected are propagated to the metric sets. One very important information about uh, modules is that for a given configuration, they can be configured multiple times. So let's say, again, in the example of the system modules, you have a system module enable that collects every single minute information about disk IO. You can enable the same module again, but disable the disk IO utilization and only enable, let's say, the CPU average utilization. That is going to be collected every single seconds. So in this example, you have the system module enabled two times. One of them is for collecting metrics for disk IO that's going to happen every minute. And the same system module is configured again, but focusing on collecting 
CPU information every five seconds. So that's how you can use the same model module multiple times, but to collect either different metric sets or the same metric set under different periodicities. Another important information about modules is that every time they need to actually transmit and ship the data to destinations, they do so asynchronously. That means that the agent is not going to block if the target system is not, for example, available. This is important for scalability and performance purposes. Also, the metric beat don't necessarily require a acknowledgement from the target system. That means that metrics are going to be transmitted to the target systems in a send and forget style. Very often, the metric beat tries to reuse existing connections throughout all the metric sets. So it doesn't waste resources from either the target system to be monitored and the destinations where the metrics are going to be sent. In this diagram over here, you can see that we have a metric B configuration that has two modules enabled. The first module is on the top, and let's say it's focused on collecting metrics from Redis database. The other module configured for the same metric beat is a system module that aims to collect metrics from the operating system. So in a given metric beat configuration, you can not only enable the same module multiple times, but also you can enable different modules for different technologies that where the metrics from these modules are going to be collected from the same source systems. Although not very usual, but you can actually deploy a metric beat in a target system that actually is collecting metrics from different source systems, not necessarily from one single target. Once the metrics and the metric sets collected by every module are processed, they are sent to this common library that is known as libbeat. A libbeat is a shareable common library that every beat includes. And this is a library that knows how to transmit the data efficiently to destinations. It is a shared library because the metric bit is not necessarily only used for shipping data to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is treated as one of the outputs, as we are going to see later on. But you can use metric beats along with different type of outputs. For example, a Kafka output. I know that everything seems to be a little confusing at this point, and I don't blame you, but things are going to be a little more simple to understand in the next session where I'm going to show you how to download, stall, and use metric beat. And everything that I've just described about modules and metric sets, hopefully, are going to be simple to understand.